Wow. Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And just this morning I decided to do a little bit of an experiment with my Lysianthus. I don't normally pot them up. Now I have them in these 128 trays and they're looking real good. They're uh, about nine weeks old now, but I was reading Dr. Armitage's book this morning on specialty cut flowers. I was reading the Lysianthus section and it did say that potting them up can lead to much earlier blooms. So I decided, you know what, let me take one of my trays and transplant those into the 38 plug trays that I bought. 38 is not the number of plug trays that I bought. 38 is the size of the plug tray. So this is a 38 plug tray. That means there are 38 plugs and they're fairly deep as well. I happened to buy these because I thought that they would be good for things like peppers and eggplants and other things that I purchased, but I bought 10 of them. So I thought, why don't I take a couple of them and try with this Lysianthus? I thought it would also be the perfect time to answer some of the Lysianthus questions that you guys had a couple of videos ago. Now, I'm not an expert at growing Lysianthus, not at all. I'm learning every year, but I do read a lot and I do research a lot and some of you guys are brand new to this, so I thought I'll answer what questions I am able or point you guys in the right direction for more resources. Resources, okay. So here are my ABC yellow and my ABC white Lysianthus. They're looking great. I'm really excited about these. They're about three weeks ahead in size when it comes to size from last year. So I'm gonna get a close up and show you guys. So in general, they just look pretty decent. They're starting to grow up and then a little stem will come from the bottom and start to put on some height. So this is basically about the stage where it starts growing up and I want to see what would happen if I put them in the 38 trays. Now you can see I have some that are still really tiny. I'm still gonna pot those up too, yeah. There are some that are that germinated so much later. Oh, can't even, hello. Okay. All right, I brought a knife out here, where is it? There it is, okay. So I thought I'd start with the ABC yellow and I just brought a butter knife out here and I'm literally just pulling it up and you can see, oh my goodness, those roots look amazing. They're just beautiful, healthy white. I'm just gonna poke a little tiny hole in here with my knife and tuck it in and that's just what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward me actually doing this. We'll see you in a minute. Look at that root system. That is just amazing. Okay, let's look at the questions. One of the first questions I remember uh, without having to look them up is about fertilizing my Lizzie's. So I do fertilize my Lizzie's. I don't start to fertilize them until they're several weeks old. And there's actually a really good culture sheet that's put together by Cicada. And on their culture sheet, which I'll link in the um, description of this video, they say to start fertilizing between 15 and 21 days following germination. So not 15 to 21 days following you putting the seeds in the soil, 15 to 21 days after they actually germinate and you can see the plant. So uh, I use a Neptune's Harvest, uh, it's a fish emulsion and seaweed fertilizer, it's organic. It is, I believe, 231 are the numbers on it. And uh, I use that once a week. And I can tell the difference from day to day when I'm using the fertilizer when it comes to growth for the Lizzie's. These are looking, like I'm so happy with these, so happy. I've actually never had Lizzie's with that much root growth. I don't know what I did this year, I don't know, but it's working, yeah. I can't even like, there's so many roots that I can't even, I gotta take a picture of this. I gotta send it to Gina. So a lot of people were asking me, Omi, can I, so I don't have to bend over? 
<laughs> okay, a lot of people were asking me if I usually leave them in the plug trays. Yes, I do normally leave them. This is an experiment. When you order them, like when I order plugs, the ones that I've ordered from Farmer Bailey that are coming in in April are gonna be in trays just like this. Actually, I think they're gonna be in smaller trays. I think I'm getting like 216 trays from Farmer Bailey. So they will be smaller, but this I wanna do to see how big I could actually get them before I put them in the ground. Okay. Let me get more of these out and find another question. Oh, I think I just decapitated it. No, 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 you're fine. Um, someone asked about using a mister to fertilize. I don't recommend doing that because my fertilizer, it's um, kind of chunky, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie, and it might plug up the mister. So I do not use, I bottom water in the trays. So I usually will fill up the bottom of the trays and set the tray in it and then it soaks it up from the bottom. Okay, there's a question about seed staying viable. Um, <laughs> usually Lysianthus seed comes pelleted and I will say that pelleted seeds do not tend to last well from year to year. And I did have some leftover Lysianthus seed from last year, just a couple of maybe ABC yellow and a couple I think of ABC white. And I did throw them in a channel tray. I got nothing. There wasn't even one that germinated out of maybe 30 or 40 of the seeds. So I'm gonna say that the pelleted seeds from experience do not last from season to season. In fact, I'm having that same issue right now with my feverfew. I had some pelleted feverfew seeds and um, the germination was just not great. So pinching Lysianthus. I will not be pinching my Lysianthus maybe a couple just to try, but because my growing season is short, I don't think I'll get a second flush of them. But if you have a longer growing season, absolutely, pinching the Lysianthus will get you more than one stem. In fact, Dr. A's book where I was reading this morning, there were some varieties that got nine stems from one plant. That's nine gorgeous stems of Lysianthus from one plant. I'm looking for more questions, BRB. Someone asked how many Lizzie's I'm planting? I don't know, a couple thousand this year. So someone asked about starting them in soil blocks and then moving them up to plug trays. I don't see why not. That seems perfectly, perfectly, new word, perfectly reasonable, reasonable. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, except for these aren't soil blocks, but they're little plug trays to big plug trays. Again, I don't normally do this, but if it works, I might. You know, I couldn't do this feasibly if I was growing thousands of them. I just don't have the space to bump everything up to 32 plug trays but I could do it if I had a small amount, which is what I'm doing. Someone asked, at what point do I call the super small ones a loss? Well, if I'm planting them into the ground and they're smaller than a half dollar, I'm not planting them into the ground. I just don't think that they'll be, I don't think that they'll grow and bloom that season. Dog's chewing on a bone under here. You look marvelous. You, yeah, you, you look marvelous. Someone's asking when I'm gonna plant my Lysianthus out. I have planted it out about a month before my last frost date. They can, they are a cool flower. They can take the cold. In fact, they prefer putting down their roots in colder temperatures. And um, they might even rosette if it's above 70 degrees when they're little. Typically, I put it out about a month before my last frost date. Uh, that's what I did last year, and they did fairly well. I am trying to go a little bit earlier this year because I have the hoop house, but I don't know if I'm going to have space in the hoop house just yet. Okay, so I have 38 of these transferred. I'm going to fill another plug tray and start working on some more. I'm going to label this first, and then I'm going to look at some of the other questions. But yes, about planting them out, I plant them out about a month before my last frost date. If I have time to build low tunnels, I'll put them on low to under low tunnels because uh, rain can damage the petals, like stain the petals of Lysianthus once the petals start to bloom and you go to harvest. If any rain gets on them, you can kind of see where the rain drops, especially on the dark purples. It's very obvious on the dark colors. But yeah, it's not good to get rain on your Lysianthus petals. So uh, if you can grow them under low tunnels, that's preferred. Do I place the Lysianthus on a heat mat to germinate? Yes, I do. The germination temperature is usually on the back of your seed packet. If not, go to Johnny's website. They have everything. In fact, I can just go there quickly. J -j 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 Johnny's. J -j 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 Johnny's. Lysianthus. I'll go to some random one. Growing information. 
we have 10 to 15 days at 70 to 75 degrees. So I do place mine on a heat mat for germination. The cinnamon seems to have worked. I sprinkled cinnamon on the trays. Um, it seems to be keeping the algae at bay so far. Do I bottom water after they germinate? Yes. Where do I get my seeds? I've ordered my seeds from Geo and from Johnny's. How long do they take to germinate? Well, typically 10 to 15 days, but sometimes up to three weeks. I mean, I had some that were several weeks behind, clearly. Is Lysianthus a cut and come again? Yes, if your grow season is long enough. What is the vase life of Lysianthus? Lysianthus typically lasts between 10 and 14 days, but can last as long as three weeks, especially if you give it some flower food. If I had to pick one plant, Lysianthus or Ranunculus, what would you choose? Why? Uh, ranunculus. Ranunculus for a couple of reasons, uh, because you plant one corm and you get multiple stems. It does not take forever and three months of babysitting in the basement. They even out for me for base life because ranunculus and lysianthus both have really good base life. So, but if I had to choose between growing ranunculus and growing lysianthus, I think I would choose ranunculus only because you get, um, you know, you get more stems out of that same space. Hi. Okay, that looks it for the questions. I'm gonna go ahead and get another plug tray. Okay, so I have a second 38 plug tray filled. I mean, they look so good. I'm excited to actually see how big they get in these because I think that there's potential. I'm pretty sure this was the size I planted mine last year. Uh, really, the only thing I did different was I started them in plug trays instead of transplanting them from uh, like a, just a giant toss in the tray. And then I had the grow room set up. So I had the humidity levels higher earlier on, like right away. Last time I didn't get the humidity levels up until they were seven or eight weeks old, really. So I think the humidity level really does make a difference. It was just so low in my basement. It was about 33% prior to putting up my grow room and now it's 65% in there. So it's a huge difference and I think the plants are just happier which makes me happier. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish. This is what I have left out of the tray. And uh, I would say I have one more 38 plug tray to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. We don't talk about Lizzie and this. We don't talk about Lizzie's. You're so great. I love you. You are so beautiful to me can't you see